G'day, this is Scotty Tucker. Today I want to talk about tannins. Now, you can see behind me in the dam, uh, sitting down the bottom of the hill, it's got a really unusual colour, it's almost black. And the reason for that is that there's, you can see there's a lot of leaf litter falling around me from surrounding trees, a lot of eucalypts. And what happens is that when leaf litter uh, from certain trees gets into the water and stays in there and builds up over years and years, you get this material leaching out of the, uh, out of the leaves called tannins. And those tannins will actually stain the water or effectively dye the water. And the, the colour of the tannins can depend on the intensity and, and how much is going in there. It can range from a very weak tea sort of colour uh, through to black, as you can see behind me. Now, the thing with tannins is that they're not inherently bad. They're not really doing much harm. They can acidify the water slightly. Uh, one of the benefits to them is that they can act as what's called an algae stat. So an algae stat is something that, that stops algae from growing. So it's, it's sort of quite common to have uh, tea stained water that is clear albeit a slight sort of tinge of brown to it but very little or no algae so it can actually be a good thing now the challenge with removing tannins is that it can be done but it's it's just cost prohibitive uh, you're looking at, at, at specific types of uh, filtration methods such as carbon filtering or you may look at uh, you know, ozone can get rid of it peroxide treatment can get rid of it but it's it can be somewhat futile especially considering that the uh, the tannins are just going to build up again as the leaves continue to drop and drop and drop so uh, it's not a not a great sort of result if you don't like the look of the of the, the tannin stained water but it does have, have the plus side which is the algae stat aspect of it if you aerate the water which is what we're going to eventually do down here and move it around you can potentially remove some of the color to a degree and help clear up the water and remove some of the surface slicks and surface scums that might also accompany it but essentially you're going to end up with a clear uh, tea colored water so yeah don't be too concerned about tannins there you can put fish in there your fish are fine especially the aussie natives are used to living in that sort of environment there's nothing uh, wrong with it or dangerous about it in terms of swimming in there fishing from there anything like that at all it is a natural process uh, some people it doesn't bother some people it does uh, if you've got a dam on your property and it bothers you sorry if you've got a dam on your property and it doesn't bother bother you enjoy it